back in the mountains with snow. It was really nice to get a shower and just to feel refreshed, but now it's time to hit the road. I'm heading to uh, Buena Vista. The dogs will be having their follow-up vet appointments, so... But my laptop charger died last night, so I have to figure out how to find this charger. So I'm going to hit the Walmart in Montrose and hopefully they have the one that I need. If I can't find a charger, that means I can't upload Saturday's video. And if I can't upload Saturday's video, it's going to be the first video that I miss. So I'm on a mission to find a laptop charger. Does anybody else get like stressed out when they have to go through a traffic circle? I'm like, like which lane do I need to be in to exit? Like, do I need to stay in this lane to go straight? I don't know. Colorado has all kinds of these circles and they stress me out every single time. Even the ones that I know where to go. Can anybody relate to this? <laughs> Is it just me? <laughs> All right, we are in Gunnison right now and I'm starting to not feel so good. I think it's just a cold. I think I'll be fine. It could also be allergies because um, the dogs have been real dusty and we stayed in a cabin last night and there wasn't a whole lot of airflow. So it could be just the dogs got up in my face. I don't know. But um, I stopped at one of the coffee shops here in Gunnison and I filled up my canister here, my canteen or whatever you call this thermal thermos thing. Um, but since I'm so early to getting to where I'm, I mean, I'm only an hour and some change away from Salida. So I figured I'd go ahead and explore the Crested Butte, maybe get some lunch in Crested Butte. I don't know. It's a really cold day though. I mean, I think the highs are uh, 39 to 42 and it's super windy. So as soon as I go outside, I have to take the hat off because it will fly away. But I figured I'm here and I don't know when I'm going to be back in this area so I might as well as go check out the Crested Butte even though I've been there several times. It never disappoints and uh, they have a cool little main street so I'm sure I'll find something like a veggie sandwich or something to snack on down there. So Plus it'll be a fun little spot for the dogs to be let out and kill some time before getting into Salida super early. <laughs> I'm not used to winter. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so cold. <laughs> so one cool way that I have found to load my groceries without having my dogs go crazy is by utilizing my back window. <laughs> so I keep my fridge or my cooler right in the back so I can just roll down my window and put things inside the cooler so that I don't have to worry about the dogs jumping out. It works out perfect. Now I've got my pantry right here. I moved everything so I can just load up the pantry. I'll put my ones love first. <laughs> Hi baby. Hi. <laughs> See? And they've all got a barrier. So I think we're going to go find a trail to explore. Um, the area got a couple, well the mountains got about 10 inches of snow the other day, but like a lot of it's melted. Tonight we're probably going to be camping at Twin Lake somewhere. They are supposed to get a snowstorm tonight, but it's not supposed to stick down at this level. So it might be a little dusting, it might be freezing cold, it might be awful and miserable, but we'll do it together and we'll see how it goes.
think we're gonna sleep inside. So I made up bed because the wind off this lake is rather chilly. So we just arrived at camp not too long ago and I've been just hanging out inside because it's kind of windy. And because it's cloudy, it's kind of cold. <laughs> not like freezing, it's in the 40s or 50s. It's just chilly. And we're right off of the lake, so the cool water obviously impacts the breeze, I think. So we're just kind of hanging out and just got the window cracked, but I might have to like close it all the way. moved locations. I moved locations because <clears throat> when I got settled in we were just kind of lounging around and four or five dudes and trucks with fishing gear showed up and we're just walking right next to my truck like it's no big deal. Dogs going nuts and I just didn't like that. So we moved locations and there's snow. And we're out of the wind a little bit. I mean, there's still a bit of a breeze. But, uh, yeah, I'll show you. Right there, where those cars are. See if I can zoom in even more. Right there. I was camped right out there. So now, I'm camped right here. And Mount Albert's still back there. So... Not a bad spot, but like I said, there is some snow. But yeah, I didn't like being around all those people. So, I have a killer spot though. Um, I decided to face uh, away from the wind, like so like it's going, cause like when I was parked over there, the wind was just coming inside the truck. So, I think he's trying to go somewhere. You trying to run away? There must be something in that fire pit he wants. <laughs> It's supposed to snow here in a minute. Any minute. It's going to snow. Those mountains are wet with snow. It's actually really not that cold. <laughs> I'm just being dramatic. <laughs> As usual. Happy Easter, everybody. He is risen. Okay, I've been driving around this area for a while and we have severe high winds. It's like a red flag effect. So I'm trying to find a spot that won't have such bad high winds. As you can see, it's just going crazy. So I did find this spot back here that seemed to be pretty secure from the wind. So I'm heading back through it now just to find the perfect spot. It's still pretty windy, but <clears throat> I found this spot hidden between the trees and um, it's got pretty nice views.
it is a little slip. <laughs> Snow is so reflective. I know, we should have brought our glasses. Well, this is tricky. <laughs> So we're here at Sprague Lake. We're just gonna go hike around this beautiful lake. It's one of the only trails that doesn't really have a whole lot of snow. So we're gonna go ahead and go explore. Enjoy a leisurely half mile walk around Sprague Lake. This shallow 13 acre lake is a remnant of a resort once owned here by Abner Sprague, an expert guide and host. Just before Rocky Mountain National Park was established in 1915, Sprague enlarged this lake by damming the far end to create better fishing for his lodge guests. Sprague and his wife, Alberta, operated the lodge formerly located near today's parking lot from 1910 to 1940. The Sprogs introduced their guests to pleasures of high mountain waters, meadows, and trails. So you've got Hallett Peak, Tyndall Glacier, Flat Top Mountain, all up there. I really wanted to go platinum again. Okay, I'm at the airport, weeding in line. <laughs> so my dad is coming into Denver and I'm picking him up and we're gonna go explore and do some fun things this weekend before driving back to Kentucky, where I'm heading back for the next couple of weeks. But don't worry, it's just temporary. I'm just hanging out with my family and doing some things to Forerunner. But yeah, so it is midnight and I've never seen this airport so packed before. Leave open the gate, don't turn off the light, I'm coming on. It's snowing! Open the gate. Don't turn off the light Nothing is as sweet going so long. 